Hey y'all, Austin here with Outer World Media. Welcome back to another book review, guys. This time we are talking about John Grisham's The Partner. Um, kind of giving you some background with my experience with John Grisham. I've read two books by him. I've read A Time to Kill as well as The Firm. I love both of them. I really did, you know, probably four or five years back is when I read them. Um, I picked up The Pelican Brief. Didn't really enjoy that one that much. I think I stopped like halfway through the book or something. I just I had bought actually quite a few uh, Grisham novels and just hadn't got back around to reading them. Um, and so, sorry, my nose just keeps itching. Um, but a few weeks, it was three or four weeks ago, me and my wife went over to the DFW area and we ended up visiting a family member and they had a Grisham book and I was just kind of reading the cover because it wasn't one that I had heard of and I guess it was a newer one. And it kind of sparked up the desire to read another Grisham and give him a try again. And so, you know, I, I read through a few that I have and I landed on The Partner. Well, you probably ask yourselves, what is The Partner about? Well, The Partner, and here's the description, once he was a well-liked, well-paid young partner in a thriving Mississippi law firm, then Patrick Lanigan stole $90 million from his own firm and ran for his life. For four years, he evaded men who were rich, powerful, and would stop at nothing to find him. Then, inevitably, on the edge of the Brazilian jungle, they finally tracked him down. Now Patrick is coming home, and in the Mississippi city where it all began, an extraordinary trial is about to begin. As prosecutors circle like sharks, as Patrick's lawyers prepare his defense, as Patrick's lover, as Patrick's lover prays for his deliverance and his former partners wait for their revenge, another story is about to emerge. Because Patrick Lanigan, the most reviled, white-collar criminal of his time knows something that no one else in the world knows. He knows the truth. I don't know about you guys, but that sounds captivating to me, you know. So I was super excited to pick this up. You know, I ended up uh, picking, starting this on Monday, I believe. Started Monday night, a uh, very late Monday, Monday night. I finished another book, um, but picked this up and I was... I finished it yesterday. Um, ideally, I would have been done with this on like Friday. Um, I had like 30 pages left, but I wanted to give myself a little break, start on another book and whatnot. Um, but nonetheless, The Partner, you know, getting into it. Like the description says, this book is about Patrick Lanigan. Uh, so giving you some background on the story. So Patrick Lanigan was a, you know, lawyer who ended up stealing $90 million from the law firm that he worked at. He ended up evading authorities and going in uh, and, and just disappearing without a trace. Um, he was led to, he led everybody to believe that he was dead. And then after four years, they find him in the Brazilian jungle. And so, you know, the story kind of unfolds from there. You know, the first part of this book, I'm not going to lie. Um, the most, and I, I read the firm again, this is my third Grisham novel. So I could be mistaken, you know, but this, I think, is the second gru most gruesome opening to a Grisham book that I've read. The first one being A Time to Kill. If you haven't read A Time to Kill, um, long story short, you know, it starts off with a little girl um, having some stuff done to her. I'm not going to go into depth or anything like that. Read the book. Um, you know, it is a, a very, very good book, you know. But again, this starts off, you know, there is a torture scene in this that it's not gruesome gruesome but it's it's not necessarily for the faint of heart um you know he doesn't go into too much detail but it's still you know just the idea of reading and you know in your head as at least for me when i read you know i kind of had the the mental picture going on of okay you no know, this is what's going on kind of just imagining that happening it, it was gruesome for sure um but again you know that's how the book opens up is them capturing um, Patrick and then them torturing and then some stuff ensues and Patrick ends up getting shipped back to the states and then from there it is like a cat and mouse game I mean it really is it's like a chess game is the best way to put it I guess you know everybody else is playing checkers whereas Patrick is playing chess that is the best way to describe this book you know as this story unfolds you know we're we're led to believe that you know patrick's going to go to to prison for all the you know federal crimes state crimes all this and patrick if he has it his way it's not going to happen he, patrick knows anything and everything about everybody who's trying to sue him and put him behind bars um 
you know, again, this was a very, uh, you know, just very, you're led to believe one thing, but then another thing happens. So again, it, it's kind of hard to describe this book without, you know, giving stuff away. And I try not to do spoilers in my videos just because I want people to read them. Uh, you know, I don't, I know I don't like watching spoiler videos. Um, so again, I do apologize if I'm not conveying the story that well. Uh, this is just one you have to read to understand, you know. Some good things about this, you know, going into my my review, how I do, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly, the good being what I liked, the bad being stuff I didn't like, and the ugly being stuff that I'm like, okay, I didn't mind it or kind of nitpicking, but I can see other people not liking it. You know, stuff I like, it's a John Grisham novel. These flow very well. You know, it's a 400-something page, almost 470, 470 pages. I ideally read this book in like three or four days. You know, I found myself sitting down reading 150 pages, 200 pages at a time. I mean, it really is a good writing style that Mr. Grisham chooses to do in the format that he does it in. Now, uh, you know, the the character of Patrick Lanigan, he... I, I don't necessarily... Here, and here's what I'm going to kind of get into the bad. And I think this is probably going to be one book that I'm probably going to have more bad to say than good, unfortunately. You know, this book, you know, again, reading a, a legal thriller to me is like, okay, are they going to get out of there? Are they, this is, again, you know, one, once you're halfway through the book, you're like, okay, this is not going to go. This is not what I was expecting. This is not going to go how I thought it was going to, you know. Again, it's hard to convey what happens in this without spoiling anything. Um, so just know that anything you expect to happen probably not going to happen in this book, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, you know, as far as the characters go, they were okay. You know, I could care less really about Patrick or you know his his lawyer or his his girlfriend or his 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 ex wife or you know I just again I, I didn't really feel. A, a want or need to read more about the characters um, now I will say the ending the ending I did not see coming I really didn't um, that is probably the best thing about this book is the ending um, you know when I read it I had to stop and think for a second um, so take that what you will um, you know some nitpick things about this book you know getting into it you know he does jump around from different characters to different characters, which I liked, you know, seeing the different characters, multiple point of views and whatnot. He doesn't break it up into little chapters, though. He has a page break where he'll jump to another character and you kind of have to figure out who it is. Or he'll start off, you know, Shepard, for example, said this. Like, so he, he starts it off good, you know, when he switches. It's not, oh, we're on somebody else. No, you, you know, you know you're switching over to somebody else, to a different character. Again, you know... What, what do I really think about this? If I had to rate it on a scale of 1 to 5, probably would give it a 2 in all honesty. I mean, again, it wasn't – it didn't blow me away. It wasn't a bad book. I finished it. I flew through it quickly. Again, it just not was not what I was wanting. Um, you know, I don't really see myself rereading this one. You know, A Time to Kill or The Firm, I could see myself rereading. Um, this one, not really. I mean, again, this probably – I think this is the lowest rating – book that I've given a rating for a book so but again it's a John Grisham novel you can fly through these pretty quickly even though they're a little little bit of a chunker um, but again the partner by John Grisham again scale of one to five I give it a two you know it was okay it wasn't anything good it wasn't necessarily bad you know I think that the ending stated if that ending hadn't been the way it was I probably would have given this a one in all honesty and I know my my boy Kevin over at Kevin Toll Reads, he's probably gonna be a little disappointed with that rating. But again, guys, you know, for a book that you know you expect it to be like a cat and mouse game, and you're halfway through and you realize, okay, you know, it's more of everybody else is playing checkers while he's playing chess, kind of a one-sided battle in this. Um, and again, that's the thing, you know, if I really enjoyed the character and loved the character, I would love to see how he takes everybody else down. But I, I didn't really care for Patrick Lanigan. Again, I didn't hate him, but I didn't really like him. I was indifferent on him. So I think that's the thing. If I really had liked Patrick, if they had given me 
more to go off of a Patrick, and he does a great job giving us stuff to try to, you know, vote, go for Patrick and want Patrick to get out of this, to, to win and whatnot. And he does his, uh, his best job to do it again. I just, I, I didn't like that much as far as the character, Patrick Lanigan. Um, so again, if I had really enjoyed the character, I think I probably would have liked this book a whole lot more. But you know what? I digress again. Scale of one to five, it's getting a two. But again, guys, I do appreciate you stopping by. Let me know what's your favorite Grisham novel. Is there one I need to read? Do I need to do a review of A Time to Kill and The Firm on here? Um, but again, guys, thank you for stopping by.